Okay, hello, hello, give me thumbs up if you can hear me properly. Yes? No? Let me just check one thing. Can you see me properly here? Thumbs up if you can see me properly. Perfect. On the floor as well. Yeah, that's perfect. So let me explain why I'm asking this. I'm doing this from a laptop. It's the first time. Normally I do this from my phone. Today we're doing this from a laptop. I hope you can see everything properly. You have the TV as a guideline for the exercises again. The exercises will be just three sets, but those three sets are seven minutes, no stop. We have lower body, upper body, and core. Of course, we start with a warm up. We'll spend more time warming up today and stretching as well. I hope you enjoy the session. This is a new stage now. You're reaching a new stage, so I hope you enjoy this and I hope you feel good with the workout, okay? I will put some music and we start straight away. <laughs> Make sure you have some space. Make sure you have some water with you. If you don't have water with you, go get some water now. I will give you some time. We start with a warm up and we start simple. We start with activations now. Neck up and down. Side by side. Shoulders just up and down, no rotations, up and down, up and down, approaching the shoulders to your ears, no rotations, just shrugs up and down, no rotations, backwards and forwards, alternate, one, two, one, two. Chest now open and cross. One, two, one, two. Up and down. One, two as well. One, two. One, two. Really good. Arms 90 degrees, palms up. Let's press overhead. When you bring the arms down or the hands down, I want shoulders back and down. Here, shoulder blades together. Squeeze your shoulder blades. Squeeze the shoulder blades on the way down. Bend over now, keep your arms up hand. One, two, one, two. Perfect. Hip rotations alternate as well. One, two, and then the other way. One, two. Keep your legs straight, please. Big rotations, full range of motion. Still rotations, but now single leg, one leg. Two rotations out. Two rotations in. Try to keep your back straight. Try to engage your core in order for your back to be straight. Thank you. 
Same thing for the other leg. Let's go. One, two out. One, two in. Perfect. Bend the knees. Fists on the floor. Touch the floor with your fists. Tear rotations here. You can open up. Wider position. Perfect. From this same position here, I want you to go into plank position. You can have your fists or palms on the floor. It's up to you. Good one, standing again, still warming up. I want you to jog in the spot. Move your arms as well. Just jogging in the spot, move your arms as well. High knees now, bring the knees up slightly. Again, keep your back straight. Get one heel flex. Last one, warming up the wrists, jumping side by side. Rotations with those wrists. Need to jump side by side. Don't forget the wrists. Five seconds. Three, two, one, and that's it. Stop. Get ready for the main session, yeah? And again, we have three sets, seven minutes per set, one minute per exercise. We go for lower body first. We start with jumping jacks, increasing that heart rate. 60 seconds, let's go. Increasing that heart rate. Let's go, bring those arms all the way up. There is no stop now. Make sure you keep your back straight. Make sure you don't hold your breath. If you can't do this for one minute, you can do this, so less impact. This is a second option if you prefer. One option with more impact, a second option with less impact. 15 seconds, we're going for sprinter lunges. Those lunges, you touch the floor. And you bend over slightly. Three, two, one. Position for lunges. And I want you to touch the floor. Touch the floor. Let's go. Chin up, change the pace, bend those knees at least for 90 degrees. Twenty seconds, let's go. Thank you. 
10. We're going for sumo squats. Your squats in wide position. You remember the sumo squats? Let's go wide position. Rotate your feet out. Let's go down at least for 90 degrees. And I want you to use your arms. When you go down, close in the middle. When you go up, open your chest and arms straight as well. Let's go. Bending those legs for 90 degrees. Can you do that? Try to keep your back as straight as you can, but find a balanced position. I want you to find your own balanced position. If you need to bend slightly more or slightly less, just do it. 20 seconds. Ten seconds, we're going for side lunges, alternating the sides, always stepping the middle. Let's go from the middle, for one side, for the other one. Again, use your arms to balance your body, please. And try to go lower than 90 degrees or 90 degrees. On the way up, make sure you use the leg you have straight to bring your body up as well. The leg you have straight, apply strength against the floor in order to bring you up. Just five seconds, we're doing well, yeah? Let's go. Get one, bend the knees slightly. Touch your feet inside. Swing your hips up. Squeeze the glutes on the way out. Try to keep your back as straight as you can. Feeling the arm strings. Back as straight as you can. If you feel your arm strings too much, bend the knees a bit more. But remember, this is not a squat. Twenty seconds. The next one, we go on the floor. We lay on the floor for the next one. Five, four. Three, two, one, on the floor now, let's go. Legs 90 degrees, please. Up, knee to your chest, down. Up, knee to your chest, and down. Knees always 90 degrees, please. Always 90 degrees, the legs. Even when you bring the knee to your chest, 90 degrees. Make sure you keep your shoulders on the floor. Make sure you keep your body balanced. Squeeze the glutes here. Twenty seconds. Just that. Three, two, one. Get one. Have some water now. Well done. 45 seconds to rest, 15 to prepare. Next one, we go for upper body. We start with double raises. Double raises for upper back. Let's go, let's go. 15 seconds to prepare. Mind the position, please. Knees on the floor, palms on the floor. Apply your body weight forwards, and then 
from this position, we perform a W. We squeeze upper back, shoulder blades squeezing, all those muscles squeezing, performing a W. Let's go, squeeze. When you return to the floor, apply your body weight forwards. Reset the position here. Always with your shoulders relaxed. And here, squeeze the muscles. Squeeze for one second. Release on the way down. 30 seconds. Let's go, you have to squeeze those muscles. You have to squeeze your back. Let's go. There is no need to rush this movement. Three, two, one. Into plank position, bringing those elbows up. Again, squeezing that back. When you bring the elbow up, squeeze your shoulder blade on that side. From one arm to the other one. Make sure the hand on the floor, it's aligned with your shoulder. I want a good alignment. If you need to stop for one second and correct the alignment, just do that. 20 seconds. 15, 3, 2, 1, push-ups now. Remember you can do the push-ups with your knees on the floor if you need. Let's go. You don't need to rush the push-ups. It's your own pace and proper alignment as well. I want those elbows lower than your shoulders. Make sure when you perform the push-up, your arms are here and not here. Nothing like this. Here. Let's go. Three, two, one. Chest on the floor now. Palms in contact with the floor. Nothing with your legs now. Up. Bring your palms up behind your back. Down again. Palms on the floor. Up. Twist. Palms up. Down again. Up. Within prone swimmers, so you have to change the position with your hands. Palms down, palms up. Control the movement. Another one you don't need to rush. Three, two, one, into plank position again, please. Now for side raises with your arms on the sides. Again, the, the alignment here is really important. Try to have your back almost flat and the arms bring you on the side. The other one, align with your shoulder. Thirty seconds. If you struggle to keep this, knees on the floor, keep going. It's a second option. But try to do the normal one first. Three, two, 
three, two, one. Engage your reverse plank, filling those shoulders. Bum up. Straight line between your chest and your toes. Stay up. If you struggle, you can have your elbows on the floor instead. Relax your neck, you don't need to have tension with your neck here. Stay up, stay up, up, up. Five, three, two, one, last one. Really simple, I want you to have your elbows on the floor and you push against the floor, squeeze your shoulder blades. Up, squeeze the shoulder blades and down. Up, squeeze the shoulder blades and down. It's not a sit up, you're using your back muscles to bring your body up. Push against the floor. Squeeze your back. Three, two, one, and rest. Well done. Have some water. We're doing for core. Well done. Well done. Get ready, we're going on the floor. Back straight on the floor. Important with the first couple of exercises. I want you to control your lower back on the floor. If you need, have your hands protecting your lower back. If you don't need, hands side by side with your body. On the floor, 15 seconds to start. We start with reverse crunch. Bringing the knees to your chest. Again, control your lower back on the floor. No gap between your lower back and the floor. Let's go. Slowly, you don't need to rush this movement. Slowly, slowly. If you need, touch the floor with your, with your feet, bring the legs up again. Touch the floor with your feet, bring the legs up again. Two levels, one touching the floor with your feet, the other one not touching the floor. 50. Three. Two, one, leg straight now, leg raises up and down. Leg raises again for more effort. Don't touch the floor with your feet. If you need, touch the floor. Up again. Let's go. Pass on the way up. Slow down on the way down. Just 10 seconds, don't stop now, let's go. 
three, two, one, sitting. We're going for club crunches. One leg, the other leg, one leg, the other leg. Important here, upper body up and down as well. If you need, keep one leg on the floor and bring the other one up. Two levels. Let's go. Halfway, let's go, you can do this. After this one, we have side plank. Just 15, let's go. Three, two, one, side plank, choose one side, doesn't matter, just choose one side, and I want elbow on the floor, back straight, you can't do this, you can't do this, back completely straight, don't let your hips dip down, straight line please, if you struggle to keep this position, one knee on the floor, but keep applying your body weight, your body weight, needs to be on your elbow in order to go down. Twenty. Three, two, one, opposite way now. Let's go, you know what you have to do. You know the two ways you can do this with knee on the floor or no knee on the floor. And you know you have to be with your back straight. Important as well is this elbow directly under your shoulder. Halfway, stay strong, let's go. Ten seconds. We go for triple climbers. Three types of climbers. Side, middle, and cross. Plank position. Three types of climbers. Triple climbers. Side, middle, and cross. Side, middle, and cross. Let's go. Important the alignment as well. Back straight. Hands under your shoulders. Thirty seconds. Side, middle, and cross. Directly for low plank, so elbows on the floor, keep the low plank. I don't want to see this or this. Let's go, a straight line. Twenty seconds, almost done. Ten seconds. Three, 
two, one. Rest for now. Well done. Really good. So, so the, the three sets are done. We're going for a, a last part, an explosive set. The explosive set is really simple, really, really simple. Squat jumps, burpees, and V-sits, just that. Squat jumps, burpees, V-sits, 30 seconds, 30 seconds, 30 seconds. But surprise, surprise, we repeat that four times, okay? Get ready, I will give you, you still have 60 seconds. Thirty seconds per exercise. Remember that. Remember that. Five seconds. We start with squat jumps. Let's go. If you can't jump, for sure you can do squat curls, yeah? Let's go. Bend those knees for 90 degrees at least. Land with soft knees, ready to jump again. Land ready to jump again. We get it for burpees, the part with the push-ups for the burpees, you can do with your knees on the floor if you prefer. Don't rush the movement, the pace is after you. You don't need to do this sprinting. Three, two, one. On the floor for V seat. You can do doubles or you can do singles. It's up to you. Let's go, let's go. Three, two, one. Up again, squat jumps. Let's go, shake those muscles. Let's go. Three, two, one, burpees. On the floor for V seats. Doubles or singles? Up 
more squat jumps. If you need, catch your breath. Slow down for a bit and catch your breath if you need. Down for burpees. On the floor for v -sit. Sorry for squat jumps. Last one. Energy, let's go. I'm watching you. Use those arms. Down for burpees. Position you apply your body weight forwards, apply pressure, 
just here, stretching, hip flexors. Up slowly. The other one. First, don't rush that 90 degrees, 90 degrees. Applying body weight forwards. Apply pressure here. Make sure you keep your back straight. Slowly up. Hold on. Both knees on the floor now. Both knees on the floor. Stretching upper back and neck. Reaching forwards with your arms. Chin down. Really good. From this position, palms on the floor. I want legs straight. Try to have your hips in contact with the floor. Chin up. Good one. Up again. Bring the left foot. Same arm, same foot, up, looking up, left leg, left arm, swap, right leg, right arm, looking up, Really good. Hands on the floor again. Bring the other leg into frog position. Frog position here. Hands on the floor. Bend your knees. Frog position. Get on up slowly. Stretching quads. The other one. Shoulders and upper back. The other one. Arms up, chin up, squeeze your shoulder blades. Good, last one, neck. Careful, do not overstretch yourself. Feeling the stretch, but a comfortable position. Get away now. And that's it, you can relax, deep breath now. Well done, well done. First one of August, first one of a new stage. Hope you enjoyed this. I think it was really good workout, really, really good. I will see you on Wednesday, same time, same place. Be ready, because we will be a really, really tough session, okay? Take care, stay strong.